Are you ready to meet the 24th group of astronaut candidates? Wearing their astronaut blues for the first time, a standing ovation from NASA employees, family, and friends for the newest class to make the cut. You are America's best and brightest. And we're going to need America's best and brightest because we have a bold exploration plans for the future. Four men and six women selected from 8,000 applicants. They include fighter and test pilots, engineers, and a medical doctor. When engineer Yuri Kubo told his wife and two small children he was going to be an astronaut, a surprise reaction. My kids were mostly concerned about me meeting an alien, so that was... Like, okay. <laughs> that could still happen. It could still happen, <laughs> but they'll probably come in peace. I, I, I'm, I'm confident. I feel good about it. Anna Menon was also selected, a biomedical engineer who flew on the Polaris Dawn mission with billionaire Jared Isaacman, raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Now the moon, or maybe even Mars, could be in her future. I can hardly believe it myself, you know. What a time in human space flight that that is even possible. Now all 10 members of astronaut class 24 will begin two years of extensive training in the classroom, in the pool, piloting, even wilderness survival. Meanwhile, other veteran astronauts are already scheduled for a big loop around the moon as part of Artemis II in the first part of next year. Then NASA hopes Artemis III astronauts, including a woman, will land on the moon in 2027 or 28. But America is not alone. And uh, I'll just tell you this, I'll be damned if the Chinese beat NASA or beat America back to the moon. We are going to win. China plans to land its own astronauts on the moon by 2030. And the moon could be the springboard to Mars. And the first boot that ever sets foot on the surface of the red planet will be an American astronaut and could well be one of these boots right here. I am just pinching myself that this is even possible. You know, what a chapter of human space flight that we are in, that this is, is even possible today. Yeah, both Anna and Yuri say that they have dreamed of being astronauts since they were eight to nine years old. And listen to this. They both immediately started dedicating themselves to science and they stuck with hard science. All of the resumes for these new astronauts, really impressive. You can read all of them and get inspired on the NASA website. And maybe some kid you know who wants to be an astronaut will be inspired as well. Guys, back to you. That would be pretty cool. Oh, Tom, thank you. And Tom, sorry you weren't selected this time around. <laughs> Always next, next year, time. buddy. Always next year. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.